you guys had in Georgetown. Uh, talk about, obviously, sort of the, the vibe of the team right now. I mean, you guys are excited, looking forward to it, trying not to get too far ahead of yourselves. But what's sort of, you know, your guys' outlook right now? Yeah, I mean, we've come on and, and beat three teams, um, top 25 teams, and the spirit throughout the team is awesome. Everybody's um, excited to go to the East Coast, play Georgetown. We just got to come out. Uh, fired up and ready to go. We don't want to go down 1-0 like we had the last three games. So hopefully um, we can come out and put them under pressure a little bit and get up on them early so we can make the, the rest of the game easier and go from there. Now you talked about how you guys have fallen behind, battled back in all three of your tournament games so far. You know, what sort of helped you guys do that? What's sort of been kind of the difference that's kind of helped you guys rally back there in each of those contests? I mean, I think uh, tactically we've made some um, changes going into the second half, which has uh, allowed us to create stuff more offensively because um, we haven't had to rely on our defense as much. Um, and so I think we've, if we come out in Georgetown and do what we are prepared to do, then we'll be good. All right, James, take us through uh, sort of the route you guys have taken to get here. Okay, three big wins for you guys, comebacks, dramatic, all that stuff. Elite Eight. Talk about kind of the route, you know, the, the path here in the tournament. You know, it's uh, really been a roller coaster. We came in unranked and uh, we've taken out three ranked teams, starting with Northridge, then we got UCLA, and last weekend Tulsa. Um, so now we're moving up to number three Georgetown. And I think we've realized that uh, we can compete with the best. So um, at this stage, we're three games a win from a national title, and that's what we have um, in our mind, and that's, that's our goal at this point. Um, we know that we can compete with the top teams in the country, and that's what we plan on doing. As a senior guy, you've been around, you know, one of the guys that's just sort of helping make things go. What sort of, how do you sort of see your role on this team and kind of, you know, guiding the squad, kind of a senior dominated squad, but what's sort of your role here that you've played this season? Uh, you're right. I mean, we do have a lot of seniors. Uh, personally, I feel um, as one of the older guys on the team that we need to set the example for the younger guys um, and uh, provide them with leadership and show them the ropes a little bit. and. Uh, kind of build for the future so that once we're gone, uh, they have something to um, not only copy, but then uh, add on top of that to improve on. Now, so far, you guys, first two rounds up in LA, so not too bad of a trip. Flew out to Tulsa, now across the country to DC. How do you guys sort of kind of deal with the travel part of this tournament where you don't really know where you're going to be going from week to week? Uh, it's really not too bad uh, for me personally. I love traveling, so I mean, it's always, it's always a fun time. And uh, the hardest part is probably balancing schoolwork with with traveling, uh, but most of the teachers and professors are um, pretty lenient and understanding with it. So um, it's really, it's, it's just fun. It's, a, it's an exciting time for us. So. That uh, last game at Tulsa, kind of talk about, you know, you guys on the field, what were the emotions like? You guys kind of come back after falling down. You know, they got out ahead quickly. First half looked like you guys were, you know, kind of struggling to keep up with them, but then you guys made the adjustments at the half. Talk about that Tulsa, that Tulsa uh, match. Yeah, you know, we came out kind of slow, um, and it wasn't nerves, it wasn't anything else. We just came out uh, flat-footed, and they took advantage of it. They went up 1-0. Halftime, we made some adjustments and really came out flying in the second half. We looked like a different team. We were able to take it to them, score two goals in, I think, five minutes, and uh, and hold it off to keep the win. So that was, that was good. It was a good win for us.